flies off the handle and just starts, you know, ruining lives for no reason or whatsoever. It's fucking ridiculous. If Randy Couture was a man, walked into our office and said, here's the deal. You know, I got one more fight with you guys for the Fox thing. Um, I'd like to do it. I have another offer on the table and it's with Spike and Bellator. You know, I have to make a living too. I, I gotta do whatever. Am I with you guys? Am I not with you guys? Do you want to match my deal? Do you want to beat my deal? Or how about this? Fuck you guys. I can't stand you. And I'm leaving. And I just, you know, thought I'd be a man about it and tell you to your face. That's not Randy Couture, you know? And, and when I made the comment the other day about the uh, Captain America thing, ask anybody who's ever been in business with Randy Couture if they like being in business with Randy Couture. There's so much stuff out there that you guys don't even know. You know, what else, you know? The guy's going on, he's making a living. So that, that was, you know, th there's the whole story, the way that it went down. And uh, it just, I, 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 I respect him. Like I said, there's no more of a man when that cage closes, and there's no less of a man when he steps outside of it. Speaking of guys, you how, how might this affect Ryan's future? So, <laughs> the day after I talked to you guys, I called Ryan Couture, and I said, Ryan, let me put it to you this way. This is probably going to be the weirdest conversation you're ever going to have. You signed a deal with us to fight in the UFC. I want you here if you want to be here. But I need you to understand this. Me and your dad are not good. Me and your dad are never going to be good. Ever, ever again, as long as I walk this fucking planet. And uh, I know he's your dad, and I don't want to, you know, said I'm calling you up telling you how much I don't like your father. But if you want to leave the UFC, and because I, I don't want him, he's not cornering him. Randy Couture can't buy a ticket to this motherfucker. Right? Okay? So I said, you know, he's not going to be around, and I just want to be up front with you. You know how I am. I want to be honest, and I want to be up front. If you wanted me to release you from your contract so that you could go do a deal with Bellator and, and you know, have your dad and, you know, maybe work with him and come up and do whatever, um, I would do that for you too. And he said to me, every kid who's ever strapped on a pair of gloves is dreaming about fighting in the UFC. And if they say they're not, they're either lying or they're stupid. He said, this is my dream. I want to be with you guys and I want to fight. Listen, my, he's my dad. He's my dad and he's always going to be my dad, but this is where I want to be. I've worked my whole life together. I said, well, let me tell you this. I said, this is your house. Don't ever feel like it's not. Don't ever feel like if you walk down the hallways in our, you know, at our shows that you're not part of this team and part of this family. I said, I'm honored that you said that, and bro, we're happy to have you. So I just felt like that was something that I had to do. I had to, ha I had to talk to him. You know, the kid's either with us or he's not. Meaning, and I don't mean him. Oh, you're either with us or you're not with us. I mean, I want him to feel like if he stays with us, he's with us. We're not. We're not. There's no hard feelings uh, 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 for him because of what's going on with me and Randy or anything like that. So I just wanted to reach out and make him feel comfortable if he wanted to stay. And I wanted to give him the option if he wanted to go with his dad too. I, I don't want to be in some situations like. And now these guys getting a fight with my dad, and I'm stuck in this contract with them, and I'd rather, you know what I mean? So. You guys that you haven't talked to in a while, is everything the same with you and Stefan Bonner, or has he called you and talked yeah. to you? Listen, I love Stefan Bonner. Right. I'm pissed at Stefan Bonner, you know? Am I still pissed? Yeah, I mean, I'm still mad. I'm, I'm upset that he did that to me, you know? But uh, I love Stefan Bonner. It's, it's like a kid, you know? Him and Forrest are my kids. That fuck until, you know, I'm out of this business. And, uh, and me and Stefan will talk. But he hasn't called you yet? You still haven't talked to him? Yeah, he called me a million times. He called me, he texted me, he texted me a picture of his baby, which I'm such a dick, I didn't even respond to that. You know what I mean? I, I need... We need to talk soon, but um, I love the kid. Do you, do you think it's a mistake for him to not come out four months later and say anything publicly and say, hey, I What more is he going to do? I, I mean, know. you know what I mean? We, we all know what it is. I, I'm not sitting up here sugarcoating it saying, oh, Stefan made a mistake and all this shit. He fucked me. He fucked you. He fucked everybody. He did. He, 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 did, a, he did a bad thing. He, he made a horrible judgment call. But you know what? 
I don't know. I'm not, I, I can't even defend him. I can't even make a defense for him and say, you know what, there was a lot of money on the table. You fight Anderson Silva, you get this, that, and the other thing. It wasn't the right thing to do. What he did was wrong. What he did was wrong. Uh, there's been a uh, lot of talk about uh, failed drug test from the Brazil car. Yep. Uh, do you have any? You any know what drives me crazy, call? you guys? Lots of things, but some fucking goof on Twitter puts out a tweet, and everybody starts fucking throwing these accusations around. I got Michael Bisping fucking blowing me up at one in the morning from England, going to that motherfucker fail the drug, you know, going, you know, Bisping, you know. And it's just, it's fucking crazy, man. We will release the thing when it comes out, and we will say what happened with the drug who fails. So Vitor, and I told a couple of the guys that I talked to on Friday, or whenever it was Thursday, Friday, yeah, there was an irregular test. Something was wrong. Whenever something wrong happens or weird, they get retested, and usually it's not a good thing. It fucking was not Vitor Belfort. Yet right now, I bet if you talk to a hundred people, a hundred people will tell you that Vitor Belfort failed his drug test in Brazil. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's crazy that anybody would even that, that a rumor from a fucking clown with a fake name on on Twitter can do that. It's crazy. The results will be out Monday. I do know the results. They'll be out Monday. Mark Ratner will handle it just like it's always handled. They go in and they retest it, and it's usually not a good thing. Test the other yeah, exactly. Yeah, and when that happens, it, 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 I don't know how many situations. You got again. This is Mark Ratner's area. I don't even like to talk about this shit too much because I don't know a lot, a lot about it. That's why Mark works here because he's been doing this shit his whole life. Um, but yeah, talk, Mark will love talking to you guys. Any of you guys that want to know, call Mark on Monday and he'll walk you through the whole thing. How, uh, how are ticket sales for uh, for Anaheim and Montreal? I'll let Dave Meltzer answer that question. <laughs> I don't know. <I> <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's going fine. Actually, only 750000 when we came out of the gate, but that was more than when we were there last time at that same time on sale. I wrote that. <laughs> huh? Anaheim. Yeah. yeah. We're I right. actually, and I'm, I'm busting Dave's balls, but yeah. I honestly don't know where we're at there. But, but it's good. Um, and, and another thing, you know, <laughs> we had uh, tonight. We uh, probably in the third round of the, of the main event. I got a text from from our CFO. This uh, this event was trending very well. So to the big fucking genius who can't get people to watch his free television show, who thought that this would be a flop, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Worry about your fucking free TV show that nobody wants to watch before you start fucking talking about pay-per-view, which you know nothing about. I'm on these horrible <clears throat> fucking meds right now for this <laughs> thing. <laughs> I've been telling people, man, I'm so irritable and whatever. I feel like I'm going to jump out of my skin. Yeah. Well, I'm like, sorry. Uh, I snapped on you the other day, too. I'm seriously, so I good. apologize. I, so I'm, I'm fucking, I'm seriously, like, on edge. I'm this, the, these pills, I'm on this, like, prednisone steroid thing. And I have to take a handful of these a day so that I don't have an attack. And holy shit, man. I'm like, road rage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait to get off this stuff. They, they, me. they give you any kind of long term because on, on the thing, I mean, is it is it gonna get better or is, or? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm getting better. I do feel like I'm getting better, meaning that my ears starting to feel better and stuff. But um, the attacks keep coming every day, like every day. So I have to stay on these steroid things to to, uh, to, to keep the inflammation down, and they're they're driving me crazy. Man. I'm serious, I'm fucking losing my mind. Good for you guys for scrums, but bad for me long term. <laughs> I, I was reading, actually, I was reading a book this morning on plane right here about some guy who uh, who had the thing you had for 10 years, and he's freaking miserable 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Most people kill themselves. The suicide rate for what I have is crazy, you know? But 
I'm not killing myself, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'll be everywhere now. I'm going. I'm going on all the trips. Like we, me and Lorenzo got him to go to New York this week for a few days, and then um, come home, have next weekend, and then I'm going to London. Yep. Speaking of things like that, Super Bowls in New Orleans tomorrow, and you guys haven't been back there in 14 months. <clears throat> yeah. Some of us want to have a reason to go back there again. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's a good question. Is that, is that in the cards this well, year at all? Good question. I got to think of our schedule. And, you know, I'll get the answer for you for that. Does this here? Does anybody know? Is Craig here? Is Borsari here? Or did he leave? I'll go see if he's there. It's not on the counter. Hey, Craig. Is Craig Borsari over there? No. All right, never mind. I'll find counter. out for you guys. Will you find out? Yeah, it's, it's uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you if it's on the schedule. I don't remember. Tom. Because John and I got to fight over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tom, right came on my radio show and said that uh, there could be four events in Canada in 2013. We'll two for sure. Will there be two other ones? Did Tom tell you? Tom tell you that and you're asking me that question? We wouldn't give you cities or the dates. Huh? So. And you, oh, I'm gonna? I'm He'd know better than me. I don't even know. Calgary an option again? What announcement? Calgary. Is Calgary an option to go back in July maybe? Yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, I owe Calgary one man. I want to go back to Calgary and make that right. Definitely. Definitely going to go back to Calgary. I don't know when. I don't have a date or a time or anything, but we're going to make that right. Another one that's kind of similar to that was Indianapolis, and that, that got scrapped in October or September, whenever that was last year. I don't know Indy one, but <laughs> you know, we, 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 we didn't... <laughs> We have some dates that we pencil in. Yeah. We don't know if that's going to stay. You know, sometimes we switch stuff around. It wasn't like we had to bail out of India and pull, and pull an event. Right. But uh, Calgary was Calgary was a nightmare. You know, and and I, and I don't feel like we delivered. People sold out. People were pumped up that we went in there. And we blew it. Dana, what, what kind of feedback did you get? Have you gotten from either fans, fighters, media about the rankings since it came out? Really, people are positive about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think it's been positive, but at the end of the day, I don't give a shit. We're gonna do it. You know, I, I was hearing stuff that some of the media didn't die. You know, and, and I don't give a fuck if we have 90 media or nine. <coughs> to vote on it. We're gonna do. We're gonna have. We're gonna do this. Have you talked to BJ Penn? I haven't. You know what you want to do? I haven't talked to him in a while. Would he get a deal like a Matthews? I, I, I'd like to see BJ retire. You know, I'd like to see BJ retire. BJ's got a gym over there. I don't think he's going to get a Matthews or a Chuck deal, but you know, he's got the gym over there. He's got a piece of UFC gym. So it's very well. He's going to do okay. Don't worry about BJ. He's going to do okay. He's got a couple bucks. Well, Rich Frank doesn't say anything we haven't heard in a while. Yeah, no, Rich was out here a little while ago with one of our. Uh, one of our girls that works uh, at the UFC, he's working on some some business opportunities out here in Vegas. And, uh, you know, Rich is still fighting, man. I, you know, I, I haven't heard anything about retirement from Rich. Uh, you know, Rich hasn't taken any beatings. He's, you know, he got last knocked out. Right, yeah. He got knocked out in his last fight, but he hasn't been consistently, you know, beat up. And he takes pretty good time off in between fights. And I don't know what he wants to do. You know? There's a lot of talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of talk about Anderson Silva and who he's gonna fight and when that might happen. Don't know. We're we're thinking about the summer. Looks like Weidman. As long as Weidman's healthy, you know, that's probably the fight we'll make. Would there be any possibility to make it up maybe to Calgary? You might want to try to throw Anderson Silva or a big name onto that yep. card if you yep. were to go back there. You should watch the scrum when you're doing. Yeah, I owe Calgary one man, and I want to make Calgary right. Yeah. Still confident that Anderson does not fight. Won't happen. It's not, we're not scheduled for them. Do you know if you've signed uh, Feijao over from Strikeforce? Um, yeah, hey, everybody is. Everybody's pretty much everybody's done. Other than Josh Barnett. Huh? Pretty much everybody's done other than Josh Barnett. I think so. Yeah. Have you given a time frame of how far we'll be away from event in Russia? No. No, I don't know. No. Do do you worry about uh, you know Vadim and his uh, relationship with Putin and, and you know it doesn't bother you at all? What changed all that? But dummy has never bothered me. Never. But he does have close ties with people over there and good for him. So do we. Sign Fedor yet? Huh? Sign Fedor yet? <laughs> no, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Uh, can, can you did he come out? Did he come out and say something after I said that the other day? That that wasn't true? Or something? Yeah. 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 It wasn't that close. It wasn't that close? 
This guy's such a fucking weirdo. Such a weirdo. What's in here? Uh, it's all just crazy stuff, just like financial shit. Nothing exciting. Can you do Sorry, financial guys. <laughs> can, you do any, can you do anything in the Philippines, or is that just nothing? I don't know. I, I don't know how long that will take. I, I, I was really hot on that for a while. We had it done. We had we had uh, sponsors lined up. We had everything done, and it just all fell apart. It was like right around the time when that was around the time when the world all started crashing. Like that deal fell apart. But eventually, we will. It's a hot, crazy market. Yeah. And I'm dying to go to the Philippines. I've never been there. I'd love to go to the Philippines. Thailand and the Philippines are two places I really want to go. If the Pettish thing doesn't work out with him dropping 45, is Lamas the guy for sure? I don't know. Good? Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Yep.